here have DK the Great, one slash the Great, man with Breezy, you feel me? Fought on Pump yes, 4. So. I don't be having regular conversations. If I'm talking, I'm talking about payment. Please don't play with me, don't play with my patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never been average, I never been basic. What's going on, world? It's another episode of 40 Young Pump 4. I'm with a very, very, very special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, I am the kid half, DKH, one slash Diddy. You feel me? Babyface pimping, I go by many Ooh, names. That nigga said babyface pimping on your hey, ass. Hide yeah. your hoe. Yeah. Hide your hoe. That shit play as fuck. I ain't yeah. <laughs> never heard nobody say that shit. Babyface. Babyface assassin, like motherfucking Steph Curry. Who you talking about? Yeah, man. You did, yeah, I like it. I like it. Real play shit going on. Let them folks know where you from. What side of town you repping? Oh, I'm straight out the east side. Mm -hmm. All over the east side. East Atlanta, Decatur, uh, everywhere. You feel me? Because we so big. Yeah. yeah. That's what. Ooh. <laughs> Good game. <yeah. laughs> Ooh. Kicking off this shit right. Damn. Uh, Hello. Wake up. Damn. What I was going to say, that's one thing about the east. We so damn big. Yeah. Like if you're not from over here, you probably think you probably think the east side is fucking Panola and shit. But it's yeah, like, yeah. come on now, like stop with the fucking jokes. Yeah, the east side is in the city, yeah, damn yeah. near right there by Atlanta. Oh god, all stayed, the way fucking I, I back on all parts, all sides of the east exactly. side from Panola to Candler Road to Glenwood to River Road. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I done been, I done been everywhere. Popping your shit all over the east. Uh, I love it. That's what I love about our side. We so fucking big and we stick to fucking gizzard. You Somebody say you, they from the east side. You like, okay, babe. We automatically, I'm looking out for you. Let's you on some fuck man. shit. But like, I love that shit. And that's for like Atlanta, period. Like, why you think we so fucking far? Atlanta been running shit for like 15 oh, years now. Damn near our whole fucking, I'm 25. So damn near my whole fucking life, damn yeah, near type yeah. shit. So, why you think Atlanta's so special? What is it about us? Uh, I think it's just just the overall vibe and feeling that you get from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Nigga life. You feel me? It's, it's really low-key unmatched. Like, just like you say, how we've been running shit. Like, as soon as we got our chance and broke through, it was, like, over from that point on. You feel me? So, period. It's something about some, you know what I'm saying, Atlanta folk that just, you know what I mean, you tap, you. you tap into. You feel me? You be that real flavor, real authentic, you know what I'm saying, South shit. Like that boy um, Andre said, we got something to say. Hey, you talking oh, about? Being from the East, who is... Your favorite artist of like all time, an East Side artist, East Side person, and then who is like, would you say the most important East Side Ooh. nigga right now? The East Side. So if you want, if you oh. need some help, I'm give you some time. You know what I'm saying? I know that's probably like a difficult question. I'm give you my shit. So my favorite of all time would be Sean Paul. Really? I'm not even gonna count. I was finna go there first. This is real like, nigga. I'm that's why I felt that it is, coming through. That's actually like one of my features that I gotta get. Like that's on my bucket Period. list. You feel me? Period. I'm I talking about. To. He was up I there. Like I'm sure I was finna go there. Like <laughs> I looked up to fucking Sean Paul more than I looked up to Ti for a moment. Like that nigga was giving yeah, us yeah, hits, yeah. I, and he was from our side. Yeah, I, I was the Sean. Was Sean Paul, Paul. Lil John and them early 2000s, damn near 90s. Hey, talking about, you know what I'm saying? And so, and then like my most important person right now from the east side is I would say Savage. That nigga is like yeah. so big and his reach is so fucking long right now. Yeah, he, he, really he a real crossed, deal stepper. Barriers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah he a real, he all the way in Hollywood doing movies and shit. Like this nigga real deal putting on from Glenwood. That's where I'm from, mm -hmm. real deal. You know what I'm saying? So that's the one of the most important artists from the east, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, for you, I, I would say. First one pop in my head is uh, Guap, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Just for the influence, period. You know Everybody what I'm saying? Like, next to next to Wayne, like that man influence, like, you know what I mean? Everybody want to do what he doing, you know what I'm saying? When the kind of getting tatted on the face, everybody mm -hmm. want, you know what I'm saying? Like, all that trap shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that sound, that they that they told me sound, like, you know what I'm saying? It all started from what, what they were doing, you feel Blueprint. me? So, yeah, yeah they, laid, they laid that foundation. Damn show. Who you make music for? Uh, really folk like me, like hustlers. You know what I'm saying? The ones that, you know, that that they gotta get out there and go get their money. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, 
that ain't really relying on nobody, you know what I'm saying? The ones that just want to have a good time, that, that, that go for the vibes, you know what I'm saying? I do it for the, 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 the regular niggas, the, you know regulars. the chill niggas, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You don't want to be out, you know what I'm saying, all yeah. out on the scene, I don't got to be the center of mm -hmm. attention, you and know And I what got saying? the records for the ones when you do have the moment, you know, you do mm -hmm. have the moment, even like me, I'm a... You know, real introvert, you feel me? But, you know, yeah. when I want to pop out and step out, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. pop out and step out. And What's I'm your a, song? Uh, Libra. Okay. Yeah. I fuck with that. Well, describe your sound. Uh, it's, uh, I would say innovative. You know what I'm saying? I'm always experimenting, trying some new shit. Um, very versatile. I don't really stick to like one sound. Like I can Very really do versatile. everything, especially being a uh, songwriter. So ooh, I mean, I shit. tell the folks uh, about the songwriting. You uh, do so you a songwriter for other people? Yeah, yeah. How was that? What is that experience like? Uh, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of my shit. Uh, when it comes to the songwriting shit, sometimes I just give up like, records that I'm not using or I want mm. or they sound better for somebody else mm. or something. Um, and then I also got like the times where okay if I got a motive oh we writing for this person you know I mean I do a little bit of studying a little bit of you know I just Facts. listen to their catalog or random shit out of their catalog and then put myself in they you know what I'm saying like mindset try to see where they mind and just go from my perspective type of shit so, period I like yeah. that shit that writing shit is a bag yeah it that's is. a bag shout out to little Yachty you know what I'm saying writing for the city girls and oh, shit yeah, big yeah. bag you know what I'm saying don't fucking miss your opportunity thinking you gotta be the artist all the fucking time. If you got mm -hmm. talent, if you can write for somebody else, do that shit. You yeah, never know yeah. what can come from Something it. Something else would be done part that way bigger I than love what that you, shit. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Was you writing before you was rapping or was you rapping before you was writing? Oh, no, I was rapping. Yeah, okay, was so you just like coming off the dome with that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, uh, I don't too much physically write it down. I try to when I, when I can't access the studio like I want to, mm -hmm. just to not forget the idea, but Nine out of ten, I don't ever use exactly what I wrote. I just use an idea from it or something. But yeah, I just go directly off the moment. You feel me? The Period. moment, the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. digging it. Tell me about your label. People, is it a label? Yeah, yeah. Okay, your label. Yeah, the people yeah, yeah. You, you sign with, like, y'all folks been doing shit for a minute. Oh, yeah. yeah like, I've grand. been seeing that shit since I was in college. I went to college in 2014. So, like, shit was been popping you know yeah. what i'm saying and then with this new project that y'all just put out the fucking rollout was chef kiss man shout out shout out to b Ari. You know damn what I'm that shit was cold as Ari, fuck that Ari, shit looked Ari, like a multi-million dollar setup like the way y'all was dropping shit each day the teasers yeah. the way it looked the, the, like that shit is cold i ain't Appreciate seen nobody it. this whole year put out some shit independent shit like y'all put out some shit that was perfect like that. I love it. Big up to y'all. Thank you. How thank did that whole thing come about? Like multiple artists on the label getting on one project. Did y'all always have that vision? Um, yeah, yeah. We had uh we had did it before. Okay. Um, you know, it can't be the second one. Um, but this is the first time where we really like locked in, you know what I'm saying? We had done uh rented out of Airbnb for about a week, you know what, mm. what I'm saying, a couple of days and Everybody pull up, oh, you know what I'm saying? Bring drawers, cool. bring socks, nigga, yeah, we in there, you feel me? Future. Bring whatever you need. Bring camp attire, yeah. yeah. Bring equipment, so, you know, we just turn every room into a studio. You that feel is me? so, so fucking everybody cool. Everybody just walking from room to room, bouncing Real around. Friday. Hey. My boy, um, shout out to the 40 Young Pump for Atlanta. My boy Ace was telling me about it beforehand. Hey. So he was a part of that shit too, right? Yeah, he pulled up on us. He that shit is amazing. Y'all, hey. So y'all didn't even just like keep it in-house. Y'all was like, everybody, whoever mm -hmm. we fuck with, you know what I'm saying? Y'all fuck with us, pull hey. up, let's make music, let's yeah, make we, magic. We was just, uh, hey, who wow. we here on this? Shit. See it there, pull up. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? And, you know what I mean? Anybody put up, you know, so cool. up? You know what I'm saying? I love that shit. I would love to, to see that shit. Did y'all document it? Uh, documentate? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been dropping a little mini episodes mm. of, of, you know what I mean? Little snippets of sun sessions and shit. Okay. I think we've been dropped three so far. So, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got some more shit coming, but we just, you know, kind of bring y'all into the world. That's super exciting. What was the reaction from, like, the fans and shit? Uh, it was actually crazy. Like, uh, we had the listening event. Um, it was people I ain't seen in years. Yeah. Like, popping up, you feel yep. me? Yep. Cause they a lot of folks ain't, on. yeah, man, it's just like, damn, like, motherfuckers is keeping up, like, they paying attention, like, you feel me, so that shit was, like, crazy feeling, like, just to know 
Yeah, y'all both cool. keeping up with it. Like, Hell yeah. Man. That's dope as fuck, man. That's hard. Talk about your, your project that you just, well, not just dropped, you dropped last year. Hot Boy Half. Um, that shit is nice. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate love it. it. Um, that's, uh, you know, that's my first self-produced project. Um, I did all the production on uh, um, What? Yeah, all yeah. the beats is yours? Get out the I, ain't car. Let, I ain't let nobody touch you. Get out the <laughs> car, bro. You yeah, too cold. You yeah. too cold. What the fuck? I, I did not know that. I had to flex that muscle. Like I, that was just me getting back in my bag up. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get back. Just in case y'all niggas forgot, you I'm back me? with it. Another you one. Did. That so, is cold. What's your favorite song off there? Um, probably it's between Go Up and Um Run My Rex. And for me, you were paying that. That's that's a special song to me too. Well, yeah, I got, got a couple. Um, the time period I recorded it in. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a lot of shit going on. It was like during COVID, maybe early COVID. You feel me? So I had a lot of shit trying to keep myself busy, keep recording. Like Hot Boy Half was my my way to work through COVID. You feel me? Like when they first shut everything down. So yeah. Right. I fuck with that shit. Too, too, too cold. The whole, yes, the whole thing, the whole setup. You know what I'm saying? I love the song where, I don't know if you sampled or you referenced uh, "Bankroll Fresh." One of the beats sounded a little. Oh yeah, the the, the second song. Yes, I, I, yeah, I, I use love that shit. Too. Yeah, I love yeah. that shit. That's that was a really uh, amazing project. Appreciate it. I'm fucking with it. Talk about your other projects that you got out on Apple Music and all streaming platforms. Like, what was that like? You know, what I'm saying, seeing your growth from when you first started until now. Um, it's really crazy. Um, because I I still go back and listen to shit. Uh, as a fan, you know what I'm saying? You like should. just studying myself. You should. Um, and watching the progression to make sure that I, right, it's time to step it up. Next time, it's time to release. So, um, I, I I got a I got a couple albums. I'm, I'm missing a few projects and shit due to like sample clearances and shit, like mm -hmm. my first album and all that. But you know what I got on there is a good, you know what I'm saying, representation of you know what I mean. What I do from Heartbreak Half to Going for Gold One, Going for Gold Two. I think that's I think that's about, about my catalog that I got out right now, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. And of course like my SoundCloud and shit got the back catalog. Mm -hmm. so they got the real yeah, shit, yeah, they, you know what I'm saying? I love SoundCloud. Like yeah. I'm a SoundCloud stand. Like I, still, I love I still going, going to that going shit. Now, yeah. Finding new artists and shit like that. Like that's that's cold. Yeah. Look, what's going on next? What you got, you know what I'm saying, finna drop what you working on, let us know some. We fans. Um next. Oh, I got going for gold three on the way. Yeah, um, keeping it going. Me and my brother you. two four. You know what I'm saying? We getting back to that formula. You feel me? So got three coming. Um, I'm actually working on a few projects at the same time. So I know for sure that's gonna be that's that's what I'm focusing on right now. So yeah, I got I got a couple things working, but for sure three gonna be something sick. I'm fucking with. I'm yeah. fucking with it. Have you know what I'm saying? You got flows. You got flavor. You know what I'm saying? You got swag. Okay. You popping Appreciate it how you supposed to. You know what I'm saying? You gonna win. You and your whole team because y'all got vision and that's yeah. important. And niggas not trying to step over each other and be like, no, I'm the star. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. This project <laughs> y'all put out, everybody, everybody shine. Yeah. Like it wasn't yeah. just like one person got all the fucking shit. Like y'all was distributing the fucking that's, ball. That's always been our chemistry. Like you know what I'm saying? We've been we've been in this shit so goddamn long with just us. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? From sleeping on the floor together to eating out the same plates. One brother paying for everybody something to eat, mm. you know what I'm saying? We, we broke, bro. You feel me? We splitting hot pockets and shit. Y'all gonna yeah, win, man. bro. Y'all gonna oh. win. That shit build yeah. character. That shit build a lot of, you know what I'm saying, trust between each other. You know mm. what I'm saying? So it, it, it shows in the music, the shit you was yeah. talking about. So I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Any shout outs? Who you know that's gonna be watching this? You know what I'm saying? Let them people know what's going on. Uh. Shout out to him, nigga won't hate you, feel me? Cause I know y'all gonna see that shit. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to him, nigga. Just, yeah. just in case just you in click case. on that shit, that hate you, feel me? You did. Yeah, yeah, and just shout out to anybody fucking with the campaign, you feel me? And just know, just, just stay tuned. You did.
I'm fucking with it. I'm fucking with it. What's your contact information? People can follow you and, you know what I'm saying, get all the music and shit. Oh, it's the kid half on everything. It's D-A-K-I-D-D-H-L-F. You feel me? The kid half on everything. Type that shit in on anything. On anything. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all type in with my boy half. He got real flavor, real style, real music for y'all folks. You know what I'm saying? Instagram, Apple Music, YouTube, Twitter, all that shit. Tap in. Another fucking episode. I'm bringing you the fucking stars first. 40 Young Pumpo, Young Breezy. We out.